first impressions of the smiley brooch were um, how different it looked among the other members of the collection. Um, not from this artist, but from the other works, which were, I suppose, what you'd call traditional jewellery, either made of a precious metal or using a gemstone or just a classic bracelet, necklace, ring, that kind of thing. And, uh, and I think brooches are, are somewhat different anyway because um, this one kind of looks a bit like a, like a badge more than a brooch. In fact, it's like a massive badge that's kind of been weirdly shaped and that's probably why I was drawn to it and uh, and also the fact that it's bright yellow as well and uh, and it's obviously classically made of something else that isn't precious metal um, I think that's what made me uh, look twice and then it was the face that drew me in because he's smiling and who doesn't love a smiley face it makes me feel on the right side of happy <laughs> because um I think because it, it's tongue in cheek, and I like things that are tongue in cheek. And um, I know it's made <laughs> of an old road sign because because I know that. Um, if I hadn't have known that, I would have you know guessed it was some sort of metal like aluminium or something. Because as I say, it looks like a badge. The fact that it's recycled is 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 so cool. Obviously, it's very now, isn't it? But um, what I take from it, which I don't know whether is right, is um, is the whole the whole smiley man because he's the the acid house guy and. And that's, you know, the, the, the whole 80s scene that's kind of been and died and gone. But he's still smiling because uh, there was something, something sort of enjoyable about that time. I thought about the outfit choice to go with this brooch. And um, I did sort of think about, well, and, you know, it's, it's jewellery, but it's, uh, it's not evening wear. It's, I think it's designed to be worn every day. I think everything should be worn every day because there's never a best, best never comes. Um, I chose red because, um, well, I always wear red. I always wear spots. And I always thought because of red and yellow together, they don't classically go. It's actually quite a fashion faux pas. They look a bit like a children's TV presenter with red and yellow, but I quite like the rebelliousness of that. So I thought I'd have red and yellow and white and spots. I probably wouldn't wear it for an evening. Um, I'd probably like to go for something a bit more glitzy on an evening, but um, I think this, this, this should be worn every day. This little guy should be uh, seen out and about. I think celebrity-wise, um, I could imagine somebody like Katy Perry wearing this because she's quite tongue-in-cheek. Um, and, um, yeah, maybe Lady Gaga, they, they tend to be quite, quite tongue-in-cheek. It's not quite outlandish enough for Gaga, is it? Um, maybe Gaga's mum might like to wear it, I don't know. <laughs> I've been, more, been known to wear... Um, not crazier stuff, but uh, yeah, this is this is this would just be one of the many things that I would wear. This is quite normal for me. But, um, it's obviously rather special because it's a piece of art um, rather than some old tat that I've picked up in a junk shop. But uh, I don't think anyone would laugh at you. I think they'd laugh with you. Look at him, he's laughing already. I love it. <laughs> I love this brooch. Can I keep it? <laughs>